was in 1998. I just came back from a two-year international stint with UNICEF in Bangkok as the regional advisor of UNICEF for health and That's where I decided to return to the Philippines. Our movement then was really community-based health program. It was like health in the hands of the people. How do we move the agenda forward? And knowing that year 2000 was about to come, a new century, a new millennium, I said uh, all of our colleagues and friends who were us in the movement were really telling what, what can we do. So I decided to gather most of them uh, in my house at the time in Quezon City. We look at the trends and we were showing also that health was so much behind and that we should look really towards the future. Thus, the name Health Futures came into about. People are really supporting it, probably because it was infrastructure and people were seeing what we saw while in community-based health program. We invest more in people than in structure, structure so we don't get to, I mean people don't get to see exactly the magnificent results that you would see probably in a housing project or even the school building projects is always way, way ahead of them. So I said, why don't we also look into how we can generate uh, health centers? And so that also started one of the concept, concepts of Alaga Ka, Alay Sa Ginawa Kalusugan. So aside from community-based health program, empowering the people, putting health into their hands,
all of this, we were looking towards a bright future, the entry, just to repeat, the entry of the century, the entry of a new millennium, great. So, Health Futures Foundation. Thanks to all my friends who were there and supported, and up to now, these 20 years, congratulations to all of us. More bright years ahead.